This is the All Powers R4000. That's their largest power station so far. You can put up to 100 pounds on here. You just don't want to exceed that. So that does show it. It has a solid build. It feels super solid. It has two solid handles so you or you and a friend can carry it. But of course, it's got an expandable handle so that you can roll it around because this thing does weigh 100 pounds because it has those new lithium iron phosphate batteries which basically last way longer and also it's a lot safer you don't have to worry about like fire hazards so i think it's like 3500 cycles down to 80 percent capacity and then it does have a touch screen 61 percent left you can see you turn dc and ac on and off by the press of the button or they do have a dc physical button and an ac physical button so and you can also use your phone because they do have an app you can connect via bluetooth or wi-fi it has one 12 volt cigarette lighter on it you can turn the screen on and off by pressing the button like if the lighting was bothering you so under the dc section you have two 100 watt usb c's which are fast charging you got two 18 watt usb a's which are also fast charging you got two 12 watt usb a's and then under the ac section you got four 20 amp 3600 watt wall outlets here and then you got a 30 amp rv plug so if you got an rv with a 3600 watt inverter this is really really nice and then here's the side it says all powers on both sides we can hit settings you can see you can change the language normal mode like if you want it to turn off after a certain amount of time you got your frequency you can turn it to like 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending on where you live if you don't want that sound on you can turn that off this is to turn your bluetooth on if you want to use your app Here's the backlighting. You can kind of turn on the brightness, which is really nice. Standard modes. This is just depending on how fast you want to charge. If you want to charge it super fast, you can do fast mode. Just more the regular. I think it's like a thousand watts. This is like two thousand watts. And then silent mode is going to be slower, but then at least the fans and stuff won't kick in. If you want it to be quiet and you're not worried about it charging super fast, there's your Wi-Fi. If you want to turn that on, then under data, it just shows like the info about it and log. If you had any kind of errors, it'll kind of tell you what those are. Then here on the back, you can see it shows you what's in there. You press it, pops open. You can see here's like the circuit breaker. If there's an issue and it wants to turn off, you can just reset it once you fix the issue. Here's your AC wall plug. There is no power brick. You just plug it in, plug in your wall, and you're good to go. Here is where you want to do expandable batteries. So this is 3,456 watt hours, but obviously you can expand a bunch more. So that is really nice if you have like an off-grid cabin or some house backup power. We have three XT60s able to handle 650 watts per XT60 up to 2,000 watts of solar, which is really nice. You can charge this thing up fast comes with a little carrying case comes with your manual the r4000 manual comes your ac wall plug to charge it but i do recommend getting the xt60 to the car charger just in case you end up using it in your car need to charge it from your car i don't think it's too much more and then if you do get a solar panel it will come with this one of their solar panels but if you have your own solar panel just make sure you have an xt60 connector to your mc4 so that you can connect your solar panel to this system well guys here is the all powers 600 watt solar panel this is by far the largest solar panel i've ever used and it is the largest portable solar panel there is on the market got two latches it actually weighs 27 pounds and is actually lighter than any 400 watt solar panel so let's see if we can uh, expand this thing here never done this goes this way this is different this is a flat panel so it doesn't have any legs to prop it up but i kind of like that i'm a type of person i just like simplicity where you just lay it out and leave it and whatever solar you get you get i don't want to have to keep turning it and pointing it towards the sun so under this side it does have the flat where it has the mc4 cord that's going to plug into your power station you can see it has the xc60 to the mc4 has these to help you hang it up if you want to hang it up on the wall or your van or barn or deck and it has these carabiners i think it comes with six and then it has the manual i'm not even sure what this is looks like it's got a five foot mc4 extension which is really nice a lot of these power stations all they come with with is just the basic connector for the solar panel to the power station so these are pretty straightforward they obviously only go one way just click them in like that click it in like that and do the same thing click it in click that in just got to plug this xt60 into the power station pop that open just plug it into one of the xt60 slots we'll see if it gets any solar i doubt it but you never know i guess 
It's only getting about 29 watts right now because obviously it's completely cloudy and snowing. Well, guys, I think this 600 watt solar panel is pretty sweet. It's a lot better than trying to plug in six 100 watt solar panels and have all those cords and have to carry them and set them all up. This does have 23% efficiency, which is basically what all the high quality solar panels get. And I know it has like an IP67 like water rating. So like light snow like this and light rain should be fine. Obviously, if it's a downpour, you're going to want to bring it in immediately. Boulder back up. See if I can fold it up easier than I took it out because that was my first time. Bro, this is super easy. Leave this all connected. Just shove it back in here. That is by far the easiest takedown and setup of 600 watts I've ever seen. And the fact it's only 27 pounds for 600 watts, that's pretty sweet. So uh, I would say it has the Tolbert's Caping approval.